You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. A new book releases today. Super excited to share it with you. We'll do that in just a moment. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting The Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Joining us today, Tanner Olson of Written to Speak. He has a new book we're excited to share with you today. Tanner, welcome back to The Coffee Hour. It is it is always good to be with the both of you. <laughs> We are excited because uh, when we get to talk with you, that usually means you're going to drop some poetry for us, which is uh, looking <laughs> forward to that today as well. Show you some great poems. Before we even dig into that, and 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 again, congratulations on your new book. Thank you. Um, why is poetry still important today? Many of us can think back to you know days of high school or, or grammar school or elementary school and poetry being an important part of that. And some of us, that might be as far as poetry made it in our lives. And hopefully <laughs> it, it hopefully it makes it further in our lives. Convince me, why is poetry still important today? Well, I, I think I might disagree with you and I don't like disagreeing with people because conflict makes me sweaty. But <laughs> I, think, I, I think that you still use poetry in your everyday life. It just might look a little bit different than maybe the way that it was taught in school. A couple months ago, I was doing a Zoom call with a group of middle school students and one of the kids asked, he goes, he said, why do I need to learn poetry? Like, am I going to have to use this one day? And I would ask that to like my math teachers, like, do we really need right. to know this? Like, I'm not going to use this. And to be honest, I am not using math, but I am using poetry. But like, I think when you think about like poetry, it, it helps you and it invites you to open up your eyes to stick, take a step back and to slow down just a little bit. And then it also kind of grabs you by the hand and invites you just to lean in a little bit to what's happening around you. And I think as people of faith, as followers of Jesus, that's what he does too, is he helps us to see that something more is happening around us and to see that he is in all things. And so that's where I, I think poetry is still extremely important is because when we read it, we get to slow down, we get to rest, and we get to sit with simple truths that help us to navigate the world in just a little bit easier and a more hopeful way. Yeah, it's not like you're consuming a novel all at once. It's it's these bits and, and things that kind of make you see things from a different angle. Mm -hmm. And that that's kind of nice when you're like looking outside, you, you, you know, it's you maybe understand things in a little bit different way. So tell us about your new book, Continue. What's the theme? What prompted this book? Yeah, so the the title of the book is Continue, Poems and Prayers of Hope. And it was written really over the last two years, and we know that the last two years have been quite tumultuous, quite unfriendly. And I mean, we are still going through the pandemic and the aftermath of everything. And so a lot of what is written in this book is just like this little offering of, of hope, of peace, of certainty in the uncertainty. And so page after page, it's kind of like you, like you said, it's just these like little bits and pieces of hopefully, I think, goodness. The mm -hmm. other day I was asked like, well, how do you read a book of poetry? And it, it's not like a novel. Like you don't read poetry like a novel. You kind of, you devour it more so like, like a like candy, right? You just like take mm -hmm. one you know, little bit of candy at a time. You don't want to eat the whole bag. I mean, you can, you're not going to feel great <laughs> afterwards, but there's something about pulling out a poem and just having that kind of throughout the day. Right. Like that's the sweet thing for you to reflect on or to pray or to share with a friend. And so kind of like the theme throughout the book is this encouragement to continue, but also to remember the hope and the promises of Jesus. Hmm. So if I consume too much poetry in one day, <laughs> you will explode. I'm end up with a oh, <laughs> Have you tried that theory? I'm curious. <laughs> And to take all my Tanner Olson books and just go hide in the closet for a day and read it all in one t one sitting. Well, you so, know, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say no to that. And I encourage right, everybody right. to go grab all of my books and read them and just go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of everybody, who might who did you have in mind when you were writing this poetry for continue? Yeah, uh, uh. That's a really good question, and I don't have a wonderful answer for it because, truthfully, my answer is this is a book for everybody. And okay. anytime you talk with like publishers or like, there's like, well, who's your who's your demographic for this book? And for me, it's 
anybody who needs a little bit of hope, anybody who's gone through a hard time, anybody who needs something to pray because they just can't find the words, anybody who's gone through a season of transition or heartache. So I feel like that's everybody. So it it may not be the best answer, but I do think that there are pages in this book that can reach really everyone. Um, because it is hopeful, it is honest, and it, it and it does present something a little bit different than maybe some of the the prayers and poems that others have read in the past. Mm-hmm. Well, and this one is, is a little bit special because you're working with a new publisher, a CPH. This is a, the mm-hmm. first book of yours coming through from CPH. What was it like working with them for this book? It was it was fantastic. I, I loved getting to work with Elizabeth and Anna and the editor that worked on this. Her name was Jamie, and she did a, a fantastic job. They were extremely encouraging and inviting every every step of the way. And they also invited me to collaborate with them on ideas and stuff. So in the past, I've self-published books. So I've gotten to touch every every word, every part, every decision of that book. But with this one, I felt a little bit more hands-off while fully included at the same time. And I got to say, I really enjoyed it. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> so share with us, will you, a, a sample or two from Continue? Yeah, I have a book in front of me, so I'm just going to flip open to a random page and we'll see how that works. I like this game. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Sometimes it goes really well. Other times it's just not enough words. Anyways, this is this is on page 82 of Continue. And this this poem is titled Every New Day. And it goes like this. Every new day, I remind myself that this day, the one right in front of me is a gift, a beautiful and simple and intricate and loving gift, a gift thought of long before it ever arrived. And I am invited to open it up and come alive. I am allowed to feel and explore and love and dream and create and cry and try and spread hope and give back and hold on. I am welcome to rest and write and daydream and forgive and be forgiven and celebrate. I'm invited to walk beneath the sun and sit below the stars and pray out loud or in my head or with my hands. This day, the one right in front of me is a gift and I will not let it pass away. So that's a poem titled Every New Day. I like it. That's great. I hope so. I was hoping that you were going to say that. It would have been really, (laughs) really weird if you'd been like, you know what? That one, not for me. What else do you have? All right, Tanner. (laughs) Next. Let's try another one. (laughs) Oh, man. No, I, man, I appreciate your writing. Oh, that's so good. And now I I don't even want to ask you another question. I just want to like sit and think about that for a minute. (laughs) Tell us more. Tell us more about about the rest of the poems that we're going to find in this book. What are some of the uh, the other things that we're going to be able to read about? Yeah, I think one of the things about poetry, and, and before I even got started with writing, I was always intimidated with that it's going to go over my head, or that I won't understand it, or that I'll be this is going to sound strange that I'll be labeled weird because I now like poetry, and that's <laughs> not really the case with this book. Um, the way that I write, I. I hope that these kind of are like notes passed across the table to you, something honest and something encouraging, but not something that's trying too hard. My hope and prayer with this book is that it would just give you words that you can sit with, that you can reflect on, and that you can remember that you are loved by God, known by God, and that you're also sent by him as well. So first, how do we get this new book of yours continue from Concordia Publishing House? Yeah, you can get it at cph.org or you can get it on Amazon as well. Very good. cph.org. Look for continue from our friend Tanner Olson. And, you know, last time we talked, I think you were just getting ready to go out on a tour. Are you are you still traveling? Will we be able to see you in person anytime this year? Yes, you can. You can see me in person anytime I am invited to where you are. So I am, <laughs> I'm, I'm booking events. And yeah, the last time we talked, I think I was heading down to Texas for about a week. And that was a wonderful tour. I was on it with a musician named Matt Daring. These days I'm booking events with another musician by the name of Blake Flatley. He does hymns. So he plays uh, his acoustic guitar and sings hymns. And then I go before him and share some poetry. And then we tell stories and it's a, it's a really fun night. So if your church or if your school or 
uh, community is looking to host a night of music and poetry or just poetry, I would love to come share some poetry with you, tell some stories. And I, I want to, I'm going to go out on a ledge here, but I will say, uh, I will guarantee that you will leave more hopeful than when you walked in. So yeah, that's what I've got coming up. And as always, I'm, I'm writing, I'm putting things on the internet. I'm posting things at written to speak.com as well. That sounds like a great evening. I would be totally for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. I, I also hear uh, that you're going to be at the youth gathering in Houston. Yeah, I'll be there. I will be running around. And my role for the gathering this year is I get to update Instagram. And so I'll be doing Instagram stories. I'll be interviewing speakers and guests and presenters. So it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of talking. I am already exhausted from thinking about how much I have to extrovert, but it's going to be it's going to be a really really fun time. And if you are attending and you receive a backpack, you might just find a small little book of poems and prayers in your backpack as well. So yeah, so this book, the way that it started was CPH was like we wanted to have a little something to put in all of all 20,000 plus backpacks. And so there's a small little guide of just a couple of prayers, a couple of poems that'll be in every single backpack. And then hopefully they'll stop by the CPH booth and say, you know what? That wasn't the worst. I would like the full book. (laughs) I like that standard. (laughs) You know what? If that's, you know, that wasn't the worst. Hey, I'm not going to write the best thing, but I'm going to write something that's pretty good, I think. So there's that. Well, we hope to catch up with you at the gathering. Hopefully we can spend some time together at the KFUO booth as well, talking with you there and and maybe catching some great poetry at the LCMS Youth Gathering in July in Houston. Tanner, always great to to chat with you. Your website where folks can learn more about your poetry as well. Written to speak.com. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, just type in written to speak or my name is Tanner Olson, O-L-S-O-N, not like the Olson twins. <laughs> <laughs> Tanner Olson written to speak great new book from Concordia Publishing House called Continue great book of poems thank you so much Tanner for spending some time with us on the coffee hour today always appreciate you I'll see you all in Houston yes. you're listening to the coffee hour I'm Andy Bates I'm Sarah Golseth. Golseth